All right, so I'm working on building my own line grip, and I built this little prototype, which just threw together really quickly, and it worked actually surprisingly well, it didn't slip at all. The main problem with this prototype is that while this one keeps the rope from slipping out, I accidentally nicked this as I was cutting this with my uh, chop saw and lost that little angle right there. So the new one's gonna, I'm gonna pay more attention. So I've got this aluminum stuff, uh, this stock here, it's about three millimeters thick. I think I wanted to get to six millimeters for this and so I just cut uh, two sections of it. Nice thing with aluminum is you can cut it using just normal wood tools. So I cut it with my uh, table saw first. You can see I cut it to the width that I wanted, which is that length right there. And I took it over to the chop saw and cut this um, and cut these blocks out here. And the next step is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use some JB Weld to JB Weld uh, each set of plates together. So now I got my plates glued together with that JB Weld and uh, my next step is going to be laying out the whole pattern on here. I'm going to use my calipers. Now that we've got marked out, this is going to be the path of our webbing and the width of our webbing. This is where our holes are going to go. Got all the holes drilled. They line up really nicely. Now the only thing left to do is to cut the notches out, file everything down and smooth it out, and then glue the rubber on the bottom here. All right, now we're gonna see if we can kind of clean this up with the drill. strips. These need to be 25 millimeters wide for the webbing right there.
and sand these down, which will prepare them for gluing and give them more adhesion. Okay, so we got our rubber strips ready. I'm gonna mark out the bottom of this. First, make sure I up our JB Weld. All right, so the last step is uh, making loops in these guys. Uh, so this is just our $8 section of Amsteel off of eBay. I got like 10 feet for eight bucks. Um, you get a better value if you get more, but I only needed this small amount. So um, I started just by threading it through here. Uh, you just wanna make sure you have it going parallel to the length uh, on the section that needs to be easily removed, as you can see there, and then perpendicular to that portion uh, on the side that uh, does not get removed. Here is my DIY aluminum line grip and you just pop this open here drop your line inside all right and here's how this little guy works um, got it clamped onto the line there and if I grab and pull on this it really doesn't slip at all but then you can slide it that way so the easiest way to tension like a high line is to just take your tail coming out of your weblock, loop it through what would be a hangover. I don't have my hangover up here, but you'd just loop it through there. You just push this out, pull on here, and you get like a two to one, and it tensions it very nicely. But yeah, this thing has been working really well for me. And if you want more tension, you just throw a pulley system on here back to your anchor. It works great. And that's like what I use for detensioning. I just have this and my little micro pulley system here, which is just a really awesome and easy, quick way to detension the line without this massive monster 